This is verse 3. He will keep you in perfect peace. Whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. Jesus says, Shalom, the over Shalom. There are troubles on earth, uncertainties in this universe. But God has assured us. That no matter the troubles that we meet or not, there's a peace in Christ. It's not peace outside of Christ. He didn't say that the world will have peace until it comes. When it comes, he will establish a thousand year reign on that. We gather. The glory of God will be our defense. But he's showing us before then what will happen to us. The umbrella does not keep rain from falling on you in the, in the world. It only keeps it from affecting you. It will be an umbrella, a vapor around you. He said the righteous is shed with vapor like a sheet. God will shed you. But here the instruction that God has given because many times we pray, but we don't trust. And trust is everything, trust is faith. He said that we keep him in perfect peace. Whose mind is still on thee because he trusts in thee. There are one time or two times in my life that uh, laboratory report shows that I might still alive. Because the report, the, 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 uh, is it a mistake of the man that did the test? That your so 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 is like this, this level. Nobody can be in this level and still be alive. See, I, want, my wife, I want to check whether it's a laboratory mistake. Well, it's not a mistake. He said, thank God because you told me what is wrong. I know the manufacturer. Every manufacturer has a spare part. Unless we run out of business. God created us. All things are made by him and for him. Without him, nothing was made. According to the divine power, he has given us all things that pertain to life and Godliness. Through the knowledge of him, who call us to virtue and glory, he has given us exceeding and great precious promises by that this we come partakers of divine nature. Is there anything hard? I was what God's word was rolling out of my heart. So I gave it one month. I came back again. I changed my name so they will not go ahead and copy the past. When I want to change my name, I don't call myself. Uh, I call myself, I won't tell you, or I should tell you. I call myself Dr. John Isaac. Isaac is my father's name. My son and my father. So, so I want them to test it. So it's Dr. John Isaac. So the result is a so perfect result. What happened? Something has changed. Abby, when you know you are good to somebody that can change the result, why do you worry? Ask myself, if I now worry myself to death, Timmy Osuma, we only put it there. <laughs> How long will I be worried? Who will not die? Even Lazarus that was raised dying. The greatest deliverance in your life is to be delivered from the fear of death. And that's why we, Jesus went to Gethsemane to pray. He prayed when he prayed. He said, can't you wait for me and pray? So by the time he came up and many of them fell to Judas. He said, who are you looking for? That's the way Peter find a way to cut the hair. You can't cut the hair of soldiers standing up with ordinary sword. He, when he saw that he fell, he said, the tree is here. So they start to cut. Thank God they cut the head. If he cut the head, Jesus will repair the head. We just cut it. What cut the head? He cut the hair. And blood stained. Jesus said, Jesus said put, put your sword there. Put it back. Shall I not drink the cup that God planned for me? And he was repairing. He had his hand soaked with blood of the air. Because there's no way your head can, air can cut down. You will not look for it and smoke it for your blood. And he was repairing the air. Would he, he, could, he could still hear the Holy Ghost in the moment of combustion. No one will lose his air because of me. 
that's why we pray when you pray you know god is my life but this worry and anxieties can trouble our life the communion is a reminder that somebody paid the price for us so look at i start to tell sister again god is a time moment of reflections in our life he will keep in perfect peace can you give me that scriptures in different version now people i start to insist people with their mindset on you you keep completely whole steady on their feet because they keep at it and don't quit the one another one the one steadfast of mind you guide in perfect peace for he trust in you another one on the screen the steadfast of mind you will keep in perfect peace because he trusts in you give me one more amplify classic you will guide him and keep him in perfect and constant peace whose mind both his inclination and his character he stay on you because he commit himself to you lean on you and hopes confidently in you okay baba he wants us to trust you where are you you are in the third level nobody has seen you nobody can see your face and live in the north god bible says oh salvation promotion has not come from the west and east and south and was silent about the north not, 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 not Nigeria, the north, third heaven, in the north, where God dwells. Where is the north? When people die, you, they, they go there, if they are born again. Above the stars, the galaxies. The promotion does not come from the west or east or south, but left the north. God, that's where, no wonder, Isaiah 14, 14, Lucifer said, I will arise and get up and go to the north. He went there to fight God. He said, you come down. No. So how do I see this God to trust? How do you see me? I give you, it's like somebody who married. Oh, husband and wife, they are fighting. It's not, they're not talking. The husband has exam to go and do. So the wife put food down there. He doesn't talk. He wrote a note. He said, your food is on the table. If you don't read it, you get, get hungry because you are not talking. You are a talking spirit. The husband also wrote there, wake up, exam, you have exam at 8 o'clock. He didn't read the exam. He came late. So what is telling us, no man can operate on that here without talking. You are a talking spirit. That's why people who marry for money, the husband doesn't see at home. He goes around, come only once in a day, in a, in a, day, in a year, in a month. He says, I, I didn't marry money, I marry you. Where are you? He now find that for the first time in his life, he thought if he has money, he has everything. He has money, is not everything. Fellowship is important. That's many times in life we are wondering when we see your boy having dogs. Kakat. How much be your man? You teach him. You think they are foolish. Woman have been asked, not eating. You are giving food to dogs. You are giving cat. Because everything that is alive, dog, cat, if you live to them, you live long. Some of them don't marry. Some of them are hold. The hold that people, what make people hold is that you will have relationship. People, you are finding that, that people come to church. They live longer than those who don't go. Because in church, we have community. Ambarawasoro. We are talking. You, don't, you have not known the loneliness. So, or till you get to a place that nobody is there to talk to. Life becomes miserable. Life is more than eating. Are you hearing me today? We don't know the value of ourselves until we are separated. Those who separate and run away in rebellion. If you see the suffering, they are suffering in their own heart here. Because you have been here, you have been with somebody for 20 years who know yourself here. That's why each of them are looking for a way to talk to you. To come to your to be your friend. What to tell them is to go back to the church and go and humble themselves. Not to be their friend. Because they will contaminate you. As long as Jonah was in the ship, everybody who are in the are coming down. All these cultures of say that we are one. 
we are related. What do you want to do with relationship? You meet it on your heart. So trusting God is trusting his word. That's what I'm saying, my summary. Can't trust your alone. So that is why if the devil can separate me from the word of God, I am in trouble already. How do, I, how do you trust me? You trust my word. If a man's word is not trustworthy, the man is not trusted. Can't you trust me? You don't claim trust. You hand it. The question I'm asking you, has God hand your trust? Has he ever failed? If he fail, he will start with you alone. If he's, fail, if he's failing now, he will not start, he's just starting with you. And who are you that God will be starting with to fail? He doesn't fail, it's convenient. What does she do to us? He gives us assurance and confidence that what he says, he means. What he means, he says. Abi? He's a God to be trusted. So, communion is a reminder. Trust the process. God process us. Get seven. Genesis 20, I mean, for back to 26, 26. He cried. This communion is a reminder. He, he so he, he, he cried, agonized for us. Because it's, it's a mark of separation. He has never been defeated. Everywhere he went, he walked on sea. He had need met. He was a champion. He never had a headache for one day. And somebody who had no headache or no sickness, it's a nature. Become sick. Become every sickness. Every problem, body, he was almost dying. The nerves of his brain is almost breaking. Blood coming out, a sweat. In Gethsemane, and this one, he said, we should do it always. That struggle and pain will live our life. Can you trust what I'm doing this morning? Can you trust communion? That's why Paul was hungry with Corinthian Christian. With all I told you, you don't value communion. I told you what God has said. So you are feeble, you are weak, you are dying. When it should be a way to assist you, to make you strong, to make you live old, to change, to purify your body, to heal you, to restore your head, to ransom you because he paid the price for you, to remind the devil, to preach to the devil that God has conquered the devil on your behalf. Verse 26, as they were eating, Jesus took bread and blessed it and break it and gave it to the disciples and said, take it, this is my body. Yeah, this looks like my body. And he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them saying, drink ye all of it. For this is my blood of the New Testament. New will. Whatever belongs to God belongs to us. Wholeness, wellness, long life, blessing, victory over the devil over spiritual attack which is shed for many for the remission of sin and see what follow verse 29 for I say unto you I will not drink henceforth of this fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it now with you in my father's kingdom and when they had sung an hymn they went out into the mount of holies when you sing a hymn you sang that victory is so we have done victory Accomplish every fraternity service relationship by reception. Marriages are handed with reception. If there is no reception, people don't say marriage is not sweet. The sweetness of marriage is not the preacher. Response of what they preach is the food they eat. God is saying this is a reception, a changing of strength. Your weakness drop and receive my strength to serve my order. My purpose. So great process, uncomfortable situation. What does it remind us? Light afflictions are temporary. We are the enemy of Jesus, gone forever. Don't judge your life by what is happening in the moment. Today we are celebrating and we are taking communion. But you know the one that said this is my body is painful. That's what he did for us. So I'm saying to you, beloved, don't judge your life because what is happening in the moment, your future is glorious. Don't let difficulty, negative people ruin your whole day. What lesson can we learn from communion? Don't carry the off offense of some, something stupid to ruin your whole day. Somebody fail you, say everybody's a failure. No. 
why do you generalize because of one two three failure there is no failure in god so learn to test the process god develop patience in you by putting you in in patient situation peter was impatient was about to cut he was cutting the head he cut the head the hair of marcus i pray in the name of jesus that god will be glorified in your life look at psalm 61 verse 2 the, this this disappointment pain when there's a disappointment and pain god's presence is the best place to process your pain pain for from the hand of the heart will i cry unto you when my heart is overwhelmed lead me to the rock that is higher than me you should be a prayer you are going to pray for this month Oluwa, no matter the overwhelming troubles or not situations that we cannot conquer but lead me to the rock jesus is that rock that is higher than me may that be your story jesus the rock that follow you them in the wilderness take whatever it is that overwhelm your heart take it to the king take it to jesus the communion is a, is a reminder of that everything is necessary that god send our way instead of getting hungry why if all i serve what i've done see the problem this is the one that is the greatest servant the apostle first class apostle jesus sinless jesus because of love if he didn't come he's still god if you go to hell all of us it's still jesus but he came because he loved us not because we love him what i'm saying everything that's necessary that god sent our way and what we, we what we told they are necessary he guide us he, we, we, he guide us when god stop us he didn't allow something to happen quickly in our life can you see what happened to joseph everything he did he interpreted the dreams in the prison yard he said remember me they put me here they kidnapped me to get me here they they lie against me i didn't do what they say i did the man forgot if the man remember him he would not be a prime minister what the man will have done give him some bread my hey, worry i'll be giving you bread from the palace the day the dream came he will tell pharaoh that give me so it's a dream here i give me one day he will go and relay to 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 pharaoh he will come and tell the king the king will be happy but he has no solution to it the man that god gave this solution is joseph so those who forget us things that god will do from us we will look man i want it i won't give me i want it god he didn't come when by and by you look back and say ah so it's the deliverance so this will have trap i will have gone to if i've gone tight to it sometimes we think we see prayers in open door alone closed doors also can be prayers answer are you hearing me may god glorify your life so god, god spend experiences to your life based on your future not your feeling if god will look at your feelings there is no reason for him to call a man as old as 25 year old abraham call a young man 25 years and say to him go what a man is doing 75 and call him to go to live a land of hall that is best and go to a far place living in tent if i he tent and promise him that he will have a future god if god respects so don't use feeling i don't feel good you can feel anything you want to feel feel you can feel anything you want to feel feel good if you like feel it can change if you want to feel good you can feel good you can just feel good. feel it can change you can fluctuate it's the voice of your woman's of your voice of your body the voice of your body is your feeling the voice of your soul is your listening the voice of your spirit is your conscience you can feel anything you want to feel but beloved god spend experiences to your life based on your future not your feeling what make us today in life are what we have gone through our future god is preparing a future for you are you hearing me today i'm encouraging you through the communion are you be blessed so your past does not define you he only prepare you write it down if i were you you would be writing this wisdom coming from my mouth get semen place of get semen place of sovereign your past does not what do i say again it does, he only prepare you 
The question I'm asked, you have prepared you are. Your failure teaches you more than your success. I have learned more from failure than success. Because success only make you happy and laugh. Oh, da, oh, God. But your failures teaches you more than successes. Joseph brothers prepare him for Egypt. They sent him. Look at Genesis 50, 20 to 21. I'm looking at the place of sovereign. I'm not glorifying sovereign, but I'm saying the road that we went through, Jesus went through, today is a blessing to us. We also go through our road, pant it, enjoy God, enjoy future. God means well for you. Abby, by this communion, hopefully where he has paid the price for you, your life is rich, is blessed. It's a glorious time for you. God means well. Genesis 50, 20 and 21. The story of Brother Joseph. What he said. But as for you. Verse 20, they were afraid. There was father, the father that connected them together is dead. So they are afraid that uh, he didn't punish us because of our father. Father is alive. So he's okay. When father goes away and die, he will kill us. So they are afraid. So they came to him and telling lie. They same telling lie. The same lie they told. They still continue to tell lie Egypt. Say, our father, before he died, told us to tell you that you should forgive us for what we did. He says, Am I God? How many years now? 17 years ago. We are still remembering. 17 years ago, you are in this land. You were hate. Your family hate. You will have died in famine. And 17 years ago, you can't forgive yourself. Some today are like that. They still, for, for everything that happened, Father, is maybe because of the failure I feel. They say, which day? Say, 10 years ago, I aborted. As some believer, you are still crying over what is not exist. And God is saying, this dummy does not know that he doesn't have a, I don't have a record. This dummy doesn't know that I have a record. I don't have a record. That from the left, from the right, as far as the east from the west, so I've, I've carried you. They say, from the north and south. If you north and south, you can meet. But east and west can never meet. I've, I've interpreted his sin from him, and yet he's call, calling God every prayer. Allah, instead of facing as a devil, stop. He's still saying, Lord, I fail. That's why 10, 20 years ago I failed. How long will you be marrying you for your past? When God has a future for you, are you hearing me today? Am I excusing failure? No, but you can't live in your past and be great. You cannot live in your past and be great. Hear what he said in verse 19, Genesis 15 19. But and Joseph said unto them, Fear not. Am I in the place of God? That the humility must come to our heart when people come to us in repentance. You don't come to you, don't go to your enemy. If your enemy come to you to be sober, forgive them easily. Because you are not God. Are you hearing me today? But as for you, you thought evil against me. But God meant it unto good to bring to pass. This is the to save much people alive. When told of this, like you know, oh, 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 what you are thinking? God is enlarging your coast. May God enlarge your coast. So He spoke kindly to them. He told them what you did, you did to me won't affect you in the way, in the way. Hmm? Stop fighting what God is used is using in your life to prepare you. For a new level, that's what I'm saying. Because we are in a new level now. I say we are in a new level now. So we see a process. Comfort, discomfort, great comfort. Comfort, discomfort, great comfort. Comfort, pregnancy, discomfort, nemans, great, great comfort, delivery. Adversity is the university of God in your journey to prepare you for the next level. So stop fighting it. Opinion of people don't matter. Peter has told Jesus, you will not die. You. How can you die? God cannot die. Say, say, repeat, say get behind me, Caesar. You talk like ordinary men. I pray in the name of Jesus that whatever God is using in your life to prove you, you will not fail. Jesus, our champion, did not fail. You will also not fail. Oh, oh Nisubu. If you go to Yoruba church, you see Yoruba church in those days, you go, oh, Nishubu e me, oh, oh, Nishubu e rao. Happy. That's you. Your Yoruba can pick from the Yoruba. 
from a old it's a old CAC prophet. Oh, this is what I oh, this is what I oh. For David, the sheep become the proving ground of David. God said, I saw you, what you did. I could trust you. There a lion came against the sheep. He ran after them. If they are nothing had, how can you have great future? The father, I love Jesse. They anointed your son. Youngest of them. You didn't think you could become anything. And God said, Samuel said, I am standing up, old man, waiting for him to come. Will not sit down till he comes. And anointed him. I could imagine that boy fell on the power. Elder people saw him. God in the backside, when God preparing him and playing music, Oluwa, Tony Oluwa, nobody saw him. But when they go to God to manifest him, they have to wait for him. They will wait for you. Men, those who despise you, they say, they will wait for you. And when the time came, but the father is a good mentor. And some people are a spoiler. What God say about you is great, oh. Don't touch my son, oh, it's my son, oh, it's the nephew talking, oh. At the spoiler, yeah. The father sent him to go and do the animal, he's wearing. In the going to rear the animal, he could have said, Daddy, eh, yeah, fear, oh. We are not fear. Future king, if I get to the power, I'm the king, oh. He went. <laughs> he met a bear. He met a lion. And God said, the attitude he had. He could learn it on the way. He said, they are not taking for him. He said, I'm not on the waist. He ran after the lion. God said, if a man would defend and risk his life for a lion, he will risk his life for a human being. Let me pick this one and, and bring him to become a king over Israel. If he, if, if, if he fail, he will repent. That's the difference between Saul and David. Saul made a few mistakes, but will not change because it's not tested. Untested man may look innocent, it's not reliable. But David was tested. Human value, human being. If you know the value of animal, you know the value of human being also. Are you hearing me today? Are you hearing me today? Do you know how people in the north you rule, rule the south? You know why? If they have a meeting, political meeting, you will hear it tomorrow in the super in the south. But if you full animal, have a meeting together to kill you tomorrow, they will not tell anybody. Because if you, you go for Sokoto to rear animals to advocate for 20, 20 days, one is rule. Because animals we can go sheep, is the sheepish. When I say you are sheepish, you are foolish. He goes this way, I draw, I draw the only suru. So suru, and one is rule, I rule like Are you getting what I'm saying? But if you are patient, everything is trouble, you fight. You are not you are united. You are not patient. People are patient. They are more united. Are you getting me today? See, I hear. So the sheep became the proving ground of David. God trust him with more. Don't despise what God is using to prepare you for your future. The question I'm asking you, can you stand to be blessed? Can you stand to be blessed? Can you stand? When people accuse you for what you have not done, what is not true, can you shut up and keep, keep on going? Or you defend yourself? They must know my point. Know my point. Those who hate you, hate you. They don't care. Or your point. Sit down and follow God. Are you hearing me? So if you want to be a disciple, give up your life. Communion is giving hope of Jesus. He gave his life for us. What benefit if you gain the whole world and lose your life? So, beloved, there is no shortcut to anything. What is going? No shortcut. Give up a low level of life for a higher level of life. Jesus gave up a low level of life. God is fashioning us. I pray that you will trust in the Lord. Where do I start this day today? Trusting in Him. Trust His word. Abi, we are trusting today that by the communion of today, He will rejuvenate our life. Mommy had a word. I already knew a year. Abby, kidney, liver, whatever is in your life, you will change your story. 